who wants to remove the plastics out of the packaging for food chain supply? Well, we are already doing that. We are, we are already doing natural materials such as wood and wool to make a cleaner world. This is box system and we'll present our story. Well, three years ago, I launched food delivery service back to my home, and my customers said to me, look, man, there is no sense to put organic food into packaging made of oil. So they were right. Uh, why styrofoam or expanded polystyrene is so bad? On the first place, it's very toxic on high temperature. It's very, uh, very, uh, it's, 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 it's banned in some countries, for example, and it needs between 500 and 1 million years for decomposing. Uh, well, 10 years ago, while I was a student, I, uh, I, the, I was working on a supporting project, supporting farmers in Serbia and Montenegro, and I found a really big problem, that 70% of all wool is waste wool. For example, just in Serbia and Montenegro, we throwed or burned away about 2,000 tons. So what we did to solve the both problems? We made a solution made of wood and wool, and we call it wool box. So it can preserve the temperature between, between two and seven degrees for a food, temperature sensitive food such as milk, meal, et cetera, et cetera. We also using the cardboard box, the plywood box, and the mod, it, it's, it can be modular, so it can use on various times. It's 30% cheaper compared to the styrofoam box. It's 100% uh, recyclable, and the costs are very low if you are using B2B approach. This is our traction. We started in, in Sweden, so we are proud to say that in, in two years we will be part of Expo 2020 in Dubai. Our target market is milk kit industry. As you can see, it's a very fast-growing industry. And our goal is to produce 100,000 bucks in the next two years with a revenue of $3.5 million. We already raised $250,000, and we need a partnership for EU and US market. This is our team. It's very young and experienced. Uh, beside me, with the agriculture background, we have really experienced uh, product designer, wood process engineers, and architects. So at the end, please join our fight, support our campaign against the styrofoam. It's no more styrofoam.org. And please think side of the outside of the box about our box. Thank you. So so just questions on simple things like weight of the box versus styrofoam and volume consumed? Uh, yeah, we have different kind of models. For example, this is retail model. It's three and a half kilos. But for example, for a daily, for a daily logistics, uh, it's held about five to six hundred grams. It's equal with the styrofoam, so it's not heavier, and it's cheaper. And volume is is the same. For ex yeah, yeah, with the same size, same volume. For example, this is box. It's uh, about twenty liters inside. Can you tell me a little bit about why wool works so great for this? Well. Uh, styrofoam was made in 1940s during the Second World War, and before that, the mainstream solution for insulation was wool. So our grandfathers knew it. <laughs> so we again we made uh, we made purpose for uh, a low quality wool again. A hundred thousand boxes sounds to me like a niche. I mean, probably there are hundreds of millions of boxes produced in styrofoam. So I mean, why why you start so little? Uh, well, we are a small company still. <laughs> So we choose uh, for a niche uh, Dubai because it's, uh, it's very warm there. Uh, there's a lot of startups with, with the food delivery industry. And everybody is, is ordering food because they are using uh, cars. Not, not, they are not going on foot. And what is most important, uh, they support us from the beginning. Yeah. Thank you.